All right, and the next thing we're going to go in here and set up is going to be a vase profile. <clears throat> now, this is going to be a vase profile with PLA. Um, I'm going to set it to my uh, usual, which is 0.16. Now, um, and, and as a matter of fact, we're not actually even going to set this as a profile for PLA. We're just going to make it our vase profile, and you'll just have to be aware that you need to change the temperature as you go. So um, we want to leave pretty much all the settings the same. Again, um, and build plate adhesion skirt. We don't want a brim on our vase, uh, and that is because in vase mode it's going to print the bottom layer, and then it actually does a bottom shell now, and then goes around and starts the vase. Um, but the brim removal on vases from vase mode, I you will you'll be hard pressed to make it look good. Um, the Generate support is off. We don't need support. We don't need tree support. We do need to go into special modes and select spiralize outer contour. Now, if you don't see this, um, you can get it from just going into the settings basically and typing in spiral. Um, you can also turn on the setting to smooth spiralize contours. I like to leave that off. Uh, but basically, we're ready to print with PLA. Uh, because it's spiralizing, it's just doing the outer shell, and it's doing it all in one continuous line. So when you slice this, you're going to end up with a large, large amount of layers um, because it's basically considering each travel a layer, uh, or, or excuse me, each movement a layer. So it's basically point to point. So you're going to get a lot of layers, um, but it runs through fairly quickly. Uh, you don't need to worry about the infill density. It'll print whether it's at 20% or 100%. It'll sprint, print that same spiral contour. Um, so that's not an issue. Um, I'm going to save this as my base profile. And then when I come back in here to print, the settings that I'm going to check, uh, switching in between PLA, ABS, and PETG are always going to be the fan and the temperature. So once you have your temperature dialed in, just remember, uh, you want a little bit of fan for PETG, uh, no fan at all for ABS, and you want the fan on maximum for PLA. Uh, and in fact, once you get used to dialing in those settings for the plastic, you're probably going to stop switching in between profiles because there's really not much that you have to change. You don't have to go through and entirely change the whole setup unless you're switching to a TPU or flexible filament. So that's basically it for base mode. It is now ready to go. I'm going to go back up in here, go to settings, profile, manage profiles. And we are going to create a profile. This is my Kira Ender 3. Point 0.16 millimeter. I don't like that it doesn't stick with convention, so we'll just do this. We'll do, we don't need the size. Uh, we'll just do base mode. Okay, uh, it's going to be a big close on that. Uh, and just to point out, you can access it also through the profiles here, uh, and it'll automatically switch all the settings that you need. These are super quality, dynamic quality, standard quality, low quality. These are the base profiles that come in Kira 4.3. So before I loaded my own, that was what I had. And they do actually now work pretty well right out of the box. So uh, we got two more coming today, the ABS and the PETG. I have to get some more TPU before we can do the TPU settings um, because I haven't printed any in a while. And I forgot to save that profile, which is one of the reasons that I'm doing this. So uh, yeah, that's basically it. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next one, guys. And as always, guys, I am Technivorous. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button. You can subscribe right here by clicking on the icon. And I put a couple videos up in the corner. One of them is going to be my latest video, my latest upload. And the other one is going to be what YouTube recommends for you. So feel free to check those out. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications down below. And we'll see you guys next time.